So welcome everyone today. Um, today really marks an important step in uh, moving forward with the recovery of Christchurch. Um, I think we like to think that 2011 was a year when the ground was, was really still shaking. But it was a year when we brought together, or the City Council brought together the Share an Idea um, program where we got something like 100,000 ideas. And then like this year we've been taking those ideas um, and putting them into a plan, you know, the, the CBD, Christchurch's CBD plan, which I think everyone is really excited by. But next year is a year when we really want to start doing things. We really want to start thing, some real action happening here in the central city. So it's my pleasure today to announce the fact we've selected a consortium um, to go ahead with this next stage of designing um, the central city river precinct. Um, it's not just the river area but also the eastern frame area where we're going to really make the most of this asset of this fantastic river we've got. So I was here today to announce we've selected Opus, we're a large local consultancy um, and Glenn from Opus is going to talk a bit about who, who, they, who the other partners I've got. But it's a mixture of um, Opus's local knowledge and they're all also their local partners but also international partners who've done this thing before have designed really big, gutsy new parks in cities. And that's what we really want to do. We want a gutsy park which really adds to the city, that makes this place a really, really desirable place for us to, to live, to play in, to work in, to ride our bikes in. So the idea of this park is it really becomes an anchoring point for the central city. And an anchoring point because it's a park, but also because it's a way of getting around the city as well, you know? Riding our bikes, walking, eating lunch on the riverbanks and those sort of things. So we've done this with our partners um, at the city but also with Naitahu and Arahia Bennett is here hiding away here in the corner and Arahia will also have, a, um, will also have an opportunity to talk to you in, in, a, in a moment as well. And I'm just going to pause now and just look at my notes. What else was I going to say? Can so that, quickly yep. your definition of a gutsy park? What's um, I think it's going to have much more scale, it's going to be bigger. Um, but also, I mean, I, I, think, I think I'll leave Glenn to talk about that, actually. Can I can leave you to talk about that, Glenn? Sure. But I mean, I think we've got, so I mean, the, the, the first, so we, I think the CBD blueprint, we've seen, I, you know, we've got some overall concept ideas of what this is. So the next stage is Opus are going to have 65 days from the 7th of January to come up with a more detailed plan. And that detailed plan, we will then start, you know, working how we go from the more detailed plan from there. You know, because it's, it's always going to be a stage thing from an overall concept we've got to some more detail and then the real detail and then we want to start building this thing, we want to start building this park in the second half of next year. Can Is that alright Nicola? Question, or do you want to go on with your speech notes? Um, <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> You're so right there aren't you? So, no, look, I mean, I, yeah, ask your question, Nicola. Well, all I was going to ask is what stood out with the Opus tender, why, why choose them? So we wanted a combination of people that really knew Christchurch, that had experience of the city, um, local people, but also they've also brought together this international consortium of people who've done this on this sort of scale before and got a result which people have been really excited by. So the international partners have worked before in Europe, and parts, in, uh, parts of Asia on similar big gutsy plans as well. What were those projects? Well I'll leave Glenn to talk about that rather than me stealing his thunder. And, the, and I think hopefully Glenn will also give you some images of what some of those projects have looked like as well if you want some of those. You can continue Shush. Thank you, I'm really appreciative. <laughs> so well, shall I hand on to you, is that okay hand on to you Glenn, Glenn Hughes? Sure. From, from OPA, so welcome Glenn. Thanks Roger, thanks Roger. Uh, yeah, so well first off, the Opus led consortium uh, is a combination of, of Opus and BDP. BDP are a large uh, UK based consultancy. Uh, those are the ones versed in, in a number of these river precincts and master planning opportunities. Uh, those are our international players. But it's very important that we brought to this project some locals and we've got uh, uh, RAA consultants who are uh, architects well esteemed amongst uh, Naitahu especially, uh, EOS which is an ecological consultant, lots of experience of, of looking at, at, the, at the bugs and the white bait uh, in the Avon uh, and we've got Nicole Laurenstein, a, a local urban designer well respected uh, amongst a number of parties. But we are really excited about this opportunity. Uh, we do feel the weight of responsibility from ultimately what was the community saying in that share and idea process that the river is important to us, the river is an important part of, of this city, it's the lifeblood, 
but also in terms of Sarah saying, hey, we want to kick start this, uh, this rebuild of Christchurch in a big way. This is the first Anger project off the block. We feel uh, excited by that prospect. We feel the challenge that goes with that. Uh, and we really want to make uh, a very good impression around, around this project in particular. Uh, it is, just defining some of what Roger was saying, it is at this stage the 65 days to develop what is essentially a concept plan. That concept plan has to go through a number of processes before we then get into detailed design and then ultimately construction. So there's a bit of a, a, bit of a, a step process to work, work our way through here. Um, we're engaged, we're excited, we love Christchurch. Opus has been part of Christchurch for over 100 years. We know the assets well, we know the stakeholders well, and we're just really pleased to be a part of it. Thanks very much. So, um, what you were saying with some of the other groups that we've brought in have experienced overseas? Yeah. Um, what sort of projects have they done in your um, well, I can give you some more specifics, probably through Jared at Sarah. Um, but the typically, uh, naming some off the top of my head, Liverpool One, sort of the waterfront development in Liverpool, uh, a waterfront park in China, uh, there's been Walthamstow Town Centre, um, it's of that sort of ilk. Uh, we did, together we worked on uh, a university campus next to a river in, in, uh, in Wales. Um, it's, it's of that scale in terms of master planning, particularly as it, as it comprises waterfront areas. And essentially this is the waterfront of Christchurch, isn't it? So, so it's uh, very, very relevant in that regard. Uh, we've got one to think about the sort of things we're thinking about. The, the, um, <laughs> the, 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 image, the images I think about for New Zealanders or might identify with, there's things like how they develop the waterfront or the, the river around in, um, in Brisbane, yep. in Brisbane yep. or in Melbourne, where you go to those sort of places and they're much there you know, they're places which are just, they're really special places. They really set Brisbane off, they set Melbourne off. So that's, those are, that's, the, sort of, that's the sort of scale we're looking at, yeah. we're looking at here. Yeah. 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 Do you envisage that um, Victoria Square here will remain so, or are we talking a complete upgrade from the beginning? Oh, look, I'm sorry, that, that, I mean, that, that's detail. We, we, we've got to get into this and get some information and get it together and start developing our concepts before we can make some calls like that. But you could say, on Victoria but, Square, you know, we've got all these wonderful mature exactly, trees. Yeah, yeah. I don't, think anybody, I don't think anyone really imagines that we're going to start again and start chopping down all our wonderful trees. No, exactly. So we've got some really great things to start with and we need to leverage off those to make something, you know, really special. So in terms of scale, are we talking about developing, you know, from X to, to Z? What is the length? So it's, it's just over a three kilometre length. So, you know, it's, it's a significant size and it's going to be up to how, many, how wide, Rob? 60 metres wide typically, so you know, it's a, it's a big area that we want to we fill. And that's just the river, there's the, the eastern frames part of this project as well of course, so there's a big chunk there, and there's some, uh, some amazing heritage within that frame as well that we need to recognise. So, so, so in fact the eastern frame also includes the Latimer Square and those sort of places, mm. so that's an area where we want to develop that for more residential, people coming and living in the city. So this eastern frame, the development there, really sets off an area that we want to make really desirable central city living. And we think that central, bringing the central city back with more people living in it really starts making the central city, really brings it to life. So where does the project start from and where does it end? So it starts down, it starts, yeah. so it starts at the hospital, flows right through the CBD, sorry, is that right, Glenn? You know, you're yeah. right. Yeah. So it starts, uh, it starts at the hospital, <laughs> flows around the edge of the CBD, so to speak, and then finishes up. Um, right down that eastern frame, so down following Barbados, but following Fitzgerald. Yeah. yeah. Is that alright? And hey, and there's a very exciting part of the eastern frame, which of course is the family playground, con the, f the family playground concept within the eastern frame, and that's going to be a, you know, a lot of excitement generated around just doing that. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fun. What's the family playground? Well, so as part of uh, another one of our anchor projects is a. Uh, is a really great children's playground, roughly in the same area where Centennial Pool is at the moment, is that, that, is that corner. So we want to build a really fantastic pl children's playground there. And I think, you know, the viewers, for some children who are the three or four year olds, what do they really know of the CBD? Because they've only been in Christ, you know. So the idea is to really draw them back into the CBD with a, an outrageous playground that sort of anchors that corner of the city. Are there any other sort of Well, I think I think we're still open to those yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah. those sorts of yeah. 
that sort of ambition. Um, but certainly the, the playground is one which we are, you know, which we, we've got down there at the moment. Um, but I think you know, cities are more than just buildings. But cities are also about green spaces, about parks, and then how you try and make how buildings then relate to those spaces as well. But you know, what we're aiming for is to build you know the best small city in the world. Um, well, we had we had a how many bids to how many offers did we get in the end, Rob? Uh, Well, we, I think we, we had more than 20 people originally register with us, and then we got it down to, I think, about half a dozen. And the, it's really the combination of the local people, but also the international experience of people who have done something on a similar scale before. Um, it's not, they haven't really given us ideas that have won it at this stage. It's much more about the quality of the people they've brought up to be part of it, the quality of the people and the experience they can actually point to. Uh, should we bring Arahia Bennett, who's the Chief Executive of Naitahu? So, sure. Arahe, did you want to talk about the, the your perspective on it as well? Yeah. Is that, can I yeah, yeah, push you a good in? opportunity Arahe. just yeah. to um, just to say that uh, Ngaitahu is um, really happy to um, be partnering with this opportunity. It's a it is uh, known as the Anchor Project, and to us, it's actually about the Modi of the um, the life force of the river that runs right through uh, Christchurch. And for us to be participating with our partners in developing this Anchor Project, um, we are very appreciative, and we acknowledge our, our partnership role. So. I think um, in collaborating going forward and uh, supporting the consortium, uh, we're going to be right by, by the side uh, of the consortium as well as uh, Sarah and also the Christchurch City Council. You know, I think about um, myself as a child when I was here, I have just took out one of those black and white photos of it as a child holding a balloon right down here back in the 60s and actually that's what we're looking forward to in terms of our children and families in the total community being able to enjoy that uh, moving forward. So um, we congratulate um, ourselves and also the Christchurch community in developing this and uh, looking at this as being the anchor to um, uh, enable uh, further development in, in those other, many other projects um, that you've got going. So you've also got the plans for your cultural centre? Yeah, yeah. Over here, over, over the side here, where um, this 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 side here, in terms of Victoria, we look to this as being the um, the gateway towards Christchurch, and this would be a wonderful opportunity for Ngaitahu to be thinking about uh, what role it's going to have, it's what presence it's going to have in the city uh, in the future. We're starting with this anchor project, collaborating together, and we've been right beside uh, Sarah and the Christchurch City Council. Uh, so there will be other activities that we'll be thinking about. Uh, in in the future. Are you looking to have some input into the design as in some traditional sort of uh, designs? Certainly, yeah. I think um, when I talk about the Modi of Te Papa o Takaro, um, it's important in regards to having a partnership role, what sort of significant uniqueness we can bring that re reflects not only Ngaitahu but Ngaitua Huriri, the, the mana whenua here. So what a great way to actually be able to infuse or weave through uh, those designs and uh, the meaningfulness that actually reflects uh, the locals here. So absolutely I would see us engaged in that.